All right, so I got cut off a second time. But yeah, I'm definitely gonna try to get him out of there because Muhammad Ali over here pretty much almost killed the Venustus and I don't plan on him doing the same. Another thing I forgot to mention is that I got a Pleco. This is his favorite spot, he loves the height up there. He's hoping he'd help clean the glass a little bit or clean the tank up from the LG. Not that I'm having like a terrible issues so far because the tank is still new, but it, there's still a lot in there. No, he doesn't want to come out because I called him Muhammad Ali, but yes, that's his new name. Pleco is right there. I'm not sure if you can see him, sort of. He's hanging out, out on the rock right there. Oh, you can definitely see him. There he is. He's still in there. I would try to get him out. It's just, I'm gonna wait till I do another water change. I think it would be so much easier to get him out while the water is lower, this way it's, he doesn't keep getting stuck in all the top spots. Plugged my phone in because it keeps dying so I can't really walk around too far here. Here's the side view. of the 75 gallon. These fish are gonna take a while to get bigger, but... Oh well, I was hoping to get more fish in here. On the plus side, I have a clown loach. <laughs> For me, he's a new fish because I haven't seen him, so... So yeah, that's my wacky update. Gold in my sand, clown loaches popping out of the the rocks. <laughs> if you guys made it this far into this update, well, I apologize. And thanks for watching. I know it was it had to be pretty loud when I was emptying the water out and hard to hear me and but I'm trying, I'm new at this. Hopefully this answers some of the questions that people have about this background. I've said in previous vi uh, previous video, a couple things I disliked, and I'll, I'll go over that again. The back hair I wish was painted like the rest of the, the rock. I guess it doesn't necessarily have to be because it's behind, but if I was to order again, I would request it. And then this part, this part right here, having the gap in between, in between there, I, I don't like that at all because it limits you on what type of fish you can have in there if you don't want to do anything to your filtration as far as put anything on the ends. And I, I really don't plan on doing it, I don't want to, and I don't want to put any screen in there. But I think I'm going to bite the bullet and just, just do it because... I'd rather know the fish are safe and not have to worry about it. If I do end up ever having fry in there or anything, it's just one less thing to worry about if they get sucked up into there. So if, if you are ordering one of these and, and you plan on trying to think of whatever you could think of to try to like have them do everything for you before you get it, I would suggest those two things. If your background is going to come to an end like this, then I would either put some mesh in there, do something with your filtration, or just request that it goes all the way to the end, which sometimes would be hard because if you don't get an exact measurement, I mean, it, it could cut it pretty close and you might have to end up trimming it. So it's, it's scary, but it's worth it because if they do put it right to the end and they put holes inside 
the rocks that would work too but again that's just another place for like fry and stuff like that to get into if that ever happens for you over here is the same scenario i mean it's it's that scenario i just explained to you they have holes hidden in those rocks and that's where the water filtrates into into the back here so i don't know how effective that is for cleaning the the tank you know when there's fish poop all over the sand i've noticed that with having the filtration the way it is on here i would have to siphon the sand more than what i do on the other tanks but it's fine for me i guess with a, a maybe another power head or maybe one of those power heads that go from you know the i don't know what they're called i'm sorry but it's the power heads that go from left to right a long one and maybe that'll help or maybe multiple power heads in there i'm gonna try maybe i'll try a couple different things but so definitely in the future i will be fixing the plumbing so that no fish can die going up there hopefully and some power heads so that stand the sand stays a little cleaner but it would be easier if I could put a power head down here, I guess, because then I could direct everything down and it would go through here. But with the power head being over here, it, you know, I have the option of pointing it up or down. And I guess I could point it at the glass, but it's just going to really won't be effective at all at that point. So if I, if I had a way of putting one down here, maybe I will try maybe down there. I'm not knowing it's too close to sand. I'm not sure. But if I was able to do that, direct it down because it's it's a lot harder for this side of the filtration to pick up anything that's big. It's more for, in my mind, for biological because it's really just cleaning the actual water and not cleaning solids out of the water. But all right, if you guys got any more questions, let me know. I'll be here. I am about three videos in now. I'm going to try to post all of these. And again, if you made it to the end, thank you very much. I'll see you guys again later.